Hello and welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway Legacy. That means no super speedway here. We are doing some intermediate in the Xfinity. So, little bit of an interesting story with the setup I'm using here today in the open. It is a setup that was given to me by some guy I didn't know about a year ago. I don't know if the, I was uploading videos at this time, or like if I have a video of that race or not, but this exact combo, I remember I finished second to a guy that almost lapped the entire field. And then after the race, he shared his setup with everybody that was left in the lobby, which was just very kind of him, very nice. And uh, even though it's a year old now, like I said, it seems to still be doing pretty well, though it is very tough to control, I will say. You really gotta be on top of it, but that means it's fast, right? Loose is fast, is what they say. But the great thing about it being loose is it should be really good on the long runs, too. So, we'll see. Um, we'll see how it holds up. I definitely don't think I'll be able to lap the field like he did that time but I remember I had used it the last time you know immediately after after he gave it to me I did a race with it and I got a p2 and a really great battle for the win that you know honestly if I had driven a little better I probably could have gotten them. but I don't think I recorded that one but um, it's got a good track record, the uh, this setup, and uh, I'm feeling pretty Chicken good flag. about it. Seems pretty fast for qualifying, and like it's it's solid for you know race pace. I didn't hit my marks quite right there. Felt a little bit tighter than it was in the open practice beforehand. And uh, I probably was a little bit skittish on throttle, so I didn't hit the wall or anything. But that's okay. P9 is still pretty darn good. We're ahead of a handful of people. Better than normally what I get. Seems like usually I'm qualifying in the back with OSR setups, because those aren't really made for qualifying anyway. But it seems like so long as I can hold on to this thing, and I'll be running the low side during the race, just letting things come to me, I think I'm pretty optimistic about this. But we will have to see how this turns out. It's lots of turn on entry, like I can't really even just completely let off the throttle or else it actually gets loose on entry, which is something I feel like I never have to deal with. Unless I'm like at a short track and I'm over driving the entry or something. Uh, so we're P13 now, but we're also the 16 car, by the way, because this is a 4.6k straight the field. Huge field here, and I'm kind of looking for redemption after an absolutely atrocious first attempt at Indy last week. I actually did a second attempt off camera and was doing well in the top five and then someone ran me over from behind and uh, killed my car. And of course they went on and had a nice pleasant drive. But uh, Indy didn't go well for me last week so hoping for a little bit of redemption here, have a better, a better run hopefully. Especially in this first try of the week. Just try not to do anything too stupid, I hope. Bring it home safe. If we have... Oh, we don't have time. I was going to say if we have time, we can practice a bit stop, but... Um, already uh, feeling okay on that front. Yeah, CP13, about mid-pack. Above my car number. And I don't, I don't even feel like I hit my marks all that well. I didn't add tape or anything. So I feel like there's speed in this thing. I just... I have to drive it. I have to be a good driver, too. Which, you know, we'll see. 16 is one of the higher car numbers I've had in a while. 
But these Monday night races, they're usually pretty stacked too, so. All right, I guess I'm ready. See where it takes us. Gotta keep it clean though. It's not gonna matter what the setup is if I get caught in a wreck. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. I know my car is super loose off the start, especially on those cold tires. I imagine uh, I'm not the only one out here, even with guys on different setups. So hopefully we don't, we don't see anyone self spinning and causing a big mess or anything in front of us, or anywhere for that matter. I'd love to see some green flag racing. But we'll get what we get, I guess. Three sets of tires. I've left the tape where I want it, or where it was, even if uh, it might have been set up for a different track temp. I did a little bit of a longer run in practice, and it seemed like once the tires started wearing a bit, the temperatures went down just fine, so not too concerned with it. I might have to keep an eye on it, so I'll keep the dash on down there, just so I can uh, easily see you have if things are turning orange or red, right. even down there. And have a good run. Is P11 going to grid up? Last second. It right. sure is. is about cut that as close as you can. Interesting. We haven't got that data. Follow it's because they don't have that data. I don't know why I'm checking. Just looking at the 55 estimated laps. So we should be able to make it halfway with no issue. I am going to be pretty nervous about these first couple of laps. Once we get things evened out, I'm going to feel much better. Or, you know, the field spread out just a little bit, single file maybe. I'll feel much better then. But I've got to, uh, I've got to survive with guys potentially being aggressive, trying to gain spots while my car is a little tough to control. So I'm just gonna have to be patient. And let the car come to me. 30 is taking a chicane, I guess. Keep going, man. <laughs> Looks like a second gear start. Maybe a tiny bit of, uh, Maybe not tire spin, but a little bit of unsettled, unsettledness, if that's a word. I don't think it is. <laughs> it might be a little unsettled, is what I'm trying to say, on throttle, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. That can happen at uh, Atlanta a little bit. A great jump, that's okay. He's way slow for some reason. I get by him, but I don't want to drive too hard. Clear high. Clear high. This guy's being really aggressive, like expected people would be. I see the reason why you would need to do that, but okay. So annoying. He's and off. We're stuck behind the 30 again because of the 6. Okay, we're okay though. Let's keep it smooth. Gotta be smooth even on entry. Like I said, it gets kind of loose on the uh, on entry if you just let go of the throttle. So. I think you can smooth even there. Okay, we're 
and he's pretty slow mid corner. It's uh, bothering me. Seriously? It's being so aggressive. He like gasses it up mid corner just to get back in front of me. Like slide down into my lane. Like that's so not necessary. Finally, get away from him now. I'm getting checked up on the bottom lane here. Still waiting for things to even out. Still hasn't happened yet. Everything's still pretty, uh, pretty sketchy. Just enough to get our nose in there. Just gonna hang out there. Now he's backing off. Okay. Feeling good, feeling pretty stuck down on the bottom here. Well, he's trying to turn himself on my nose. Feeling pretty good. 13 gets loose. It's alongside the 7. I don't want to be able to get by him, but he's having a little bit of a trouble right now, I think. He's looking unsettled. Uh-oh. Check up, because there's someone that almost wrecked. That was close. That was very, very close. Oh, we lost the spot because of that, as we checked up. So far, so good, though, even though it's been pretty sketchy out here. We're doing okay. Car feels good. P12. And a little bit tight in center, maybe. And it just feels like it's... Uh, Probably the nose pushes or something. Twelve behind, kind of running that higher line. And a little tighter. Aww. 
someone just go through the grass? I don't know if I saw that right or not. Checking up in that bottom lane again. Nowhere for me to really go, though. Maybe you can follow the 14 somewhere. We get on the inside of the 14. Oh, we're getting passed on the outside instead. Huh. That didn't work. He's holding me so tight on the outside. That is not cool. I definitely deserve more room than that. I feel like he was in my lane a little bit, but don't worry. Face of maneuver in the grass. Just had to back out. I don't know how close it was, but I did not see a good future outcome if I didn't give as much room as possible with the guy getting up in the wall and someone being on the outside. So I just went ahead and took the 1x. No idea how close it was, but uh, I'd do it again. Things are looking tough right now. The 2's right behind us. He's definitely going to be fast. Not sure why he's back there, and, and to begin with, unless he's just trying to beat the whole field. Maybe you want to pass on the outside. Okay, he's turning this guy. We're gonna go around the outside. Was that the same guy that cut me really tight on the outside that turned in on the other guy? I'm not sure. It might have been. That's uh, might have yeah, been the same situation. I think it was the same guy, and uh, didn't give the guy below enough room. Kind of just turned down into him. So that's an interesting development. Yeah, I don't know if that's my fault, but I apologize. The lap time was 33.0. I was feeling pretty good, I'm gonna be honest. Feels like we're getting a little bit of speed, at least on exit and on entry. It was getting tight there, center for a while, but I'm feeling better now. Might be coming in. We are able to pull away from the guys behind a bit. I enjoy that. Getting lots of turn on exit now. Almost too much. I gotta be careful with the throttle getting back on it. Be better. Trying to find exactly where the limit is. I don't want to get on that, the gas too early and end up pushing toward the wall. But I do want to take advantage of the good turn we have in the car right now. Without overdoing it like this. <laughs> Interesting. Seems looser out of two than it does out of four. So, I'm getting my bearings. I'm figuring out what this car is doing with long run pace. 
I still feel like there's speed in this thing. I just gotta figure it out. Ooh, that got pretty loose on entry. I'm gonna be gentle on the throttle on uh, the exit of two. Alright, so we don't slide as much. That got us a better exit that time. Got pretty tight. It's okay. We're pulling away from the guys behind, and that's pretty crazy. I mean, we are 12th in a 4.6k strength of field. That's significant. That's good. Again, I'm the 16th car in this race, so by I rating, I should be finishing 16th. 12th place finish would be fantastic if I could pull that off. It's more grip out of four than there is out of two, so I can kind of get the throttle down better there. Don't know why that is. Some quirk about the track, I guess. Maybe the wind could be direction of the wind or something. Those, even those little things that can make a big difference. You wouldn't think so, but I mean, you, you feel like a gusty day when you're driving on the highway. Sometimes you can feel the crosswinds blowing you around. Same thing with the race car, and with these race cars being more on edge than your highway car, you'd be surprised how much that can affect it. I never think to check the wind or anything like that, but it, maybe I should. Got the two coming up on us. And that's not too surprising. I imagine he's probably going to make his way toward the front before the end of this one. So if we have to just get him by quickly, then that's what we'll have to do. Just being gentle. Slowly reeling in the two guys ahead. I don't know about the rest of the field up there. My head's getting loose like we are, out of two. He's setting up a pass by running the high line. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe I should run the high line. He's gonna zoom past me though. Yeah, that's that's actually looking pretty good, that high line. I might have to try that. He had such run on me he thought I lifted off for him. <laughs> I sue. That's why he said thank you. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Look at all that speed I'm getting. Can't do that in 3 and 4 so much at Atlanta. There's too many big bumps up top. But even if I'm starting to get on the right front a little more by running that line, this thing could stand to be tightened up just a bit. So I am A-OK -okay with that. Just gotta make sure I don't put it in the wall. That's fun. See if it ends up being the right idea, but at least it's fun. <laughs> No loose. 
Not allowed. Fifteen's coming up on us fast as well. Two setting up another pass. Running the high line a little better than I am. It's more brave than I am. Man, really gotta work the wheel, that's for sure. Might move back down, see how it compares. Yeah, you just you don't get as much of a run off, so it's not quite as good. Or where you're going. Making me loose though, being right on my bumper. <sighs> I cut it that close then. Be aggressive for no reason, but fine. Ooh, this thing's so wiggly. The Xfinity wiggles are back. Oh, getting loose out of four now, even. I think I'm going to pit a little later. I feel like our setup is long run oriented overall, at least compared to other people's setups. I don't know, maybe not, but... I mean, you can see we're still running in the green. As long as I can hit my marks. A lot of this is just driver right now. Me needing to uh, hit my marks. There's more speed in this thing, I think, than I'm willing... I'm not, you know, willing, but that I'm able to quite get. Doing my best, though. You've just done a 33.6. Trying to be a little braver on the outside, but it's not very smooth with my inputs. And I'm getting actually really loose on entry now. Might have to go back to being more gentle with the liftoffs. What a handful this thing is. But it's a fast handful, I guess. Basically sliding through turn three now. Can we catch this 14? We were catching him, and then we kind of stopped catching him a little bit, and now we're kind of catching him again. He's getting that loose on entry as well, I think. Down at the wall. I got pretty close there. That wasn't a very good corner. Just kind of kept riding up. Twenty-five is coming fast. It's got better long run speed. Maybe save tires better or something. You'll need to take care of your tires. You need to take care of your tires, huh? 
Interesting. We're, we're being hard on something. I don't know if it's the right front, the right rear, or both. We will need to take care of our tires, I guess. I think I've been running a little bit too high, maybe, on entry. I don't know. There's a trade-off. It might be our right front that's dying. Because we are not getting very much turn anymore. Team gets loose on exit. I'm tempted to pit, but I want to be a, I want to be a little later. I think I'm gonna come in a little later than most guys. Maybe I don't know. The right front is feeling pretty bad now. Maybe we just go 46. That's probably what I'll do. Let all the halfway people do their pitting, and then we'll uh, go the next lap. Someone left. That's interesting. Wonder what happened there. No cautions yet so far. That's great. Sometimes top split actually acts like top split. Car got really tight right there. We're gonna leave the bottom open for him. Car inside. Go high. Clear inside. Top times are pretty consistent. Yes. I had a horrible corner and uh, he was very clearly going to pass us at some point anyway. Just make it easy. Especially with pit stops coming up. Man, we're getting really tight. Out of four now. Still P14 though. I'd be happy with that if we ended up here. Next lap, coming in. I'm sure we have some takers right now. Actually got the thing to turn that time. Okay. See, that makes a difference. Did no one pit? That's surprising, actually. Everyone's going long, huh? Thought at least one person would. I'm coming in here though. Maybe. I think seven's right behind me. All right, had to be a little ginger. Tires did not want to do that. We got it. Should be an average enough entry. Right here. You moron. <sighs> 30-39. That's why they're not gripping. That's why I'm sliding past my box. Hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Where's that temperature? Really? really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you were not going to pull back for him. Stay behind the white line. That's weird. Get on this banking. Well, this is where I well. had a horrible mistake last time. So let's see if we can make it through this. You we're okay. Like we're up now. <laughs> People coming in. Got to be very careful getting around, guys. Make sure we're picking the right lines. Using it. Putting it here. 
I had is entering the pits, so we're gonna actually run the high line in three and four, even though it's not generally a good idea. And yeah, we're kind of middle. Middle's fine. This guy's gotta park it on the fucking bottom. No, there's someone on fresh tires coming. That lost us some time, but thankfully not too much. More people pitting ahead. See where we cycled out. We came in P14. P19. I might have had uh, the 14 who was directly ahead of us. Some to spare. A couple seconds to spare. I think I should be able to save tires a little bit better too, theoretically, being on my own. Theoretically. <laughs> Doesn't always work out that way. I will try. Went out ahead of the 10. He's going to be faster than me, so I don't need to go around him. I'll take his draft, though. Temperatures are going to get a little high again. That's normal. That's fine. He'll sneak back down eventually. This guy driving in the middle of the track. I do where he wants to be. He's on the bottom and then he slides up to the top. We made it though, it's fine. It's just a very stressful part of the race. Indicating that I'm going low. Outside. Clear up, so we're back to P14. We're getting another spot right now. P12. Very interesting to see how this shakes out. Guy's pitting ahead, directly ahead of pitting, us. Pitting. That guy's spinning. Oh my gosh, that was scary. I thought that guy was gonna overcorrect and be right in front of me all of a sudden or something. No! Was that a I sped on pit road? No, maybe. For the number one. Almost completely cycled out. I think the first place guy just said he was pitting. There's a guy with a penalty, I think. Oh no, that was the leader. I got him confused on my relative. But we are back on the lead lap. And in eighth place, for that matter. That guy behind us hit three laps later. You're in five. I'm just gonna give him to give it to him there. This is for position. You can set up a pass, which he has done. It's cool. We will back out here. Just have ourselves a nice, good corner for the tires. That's about how I normally take it anyway. Almost. 
Oh, man. That was the guy that was getting sideways on pit entry, I think. I wonder if he sped. He definitely didn't look like he had much grip. Much uh, grip to spare. So the 25 is on two lap fresher tires. We are in fifth? Oh, people are going to be flying, though. We're going to end up all the way back and who knows where, but... That's fine. I didn't feel like we pit all that crazy early. I mean, we were one lap after halfway, but everyone else kind of choosing to go longer. Got a lap car holding on to the outside of someone and then hitting the wall. That wasn't really uh, worth it, I don't think, for him. Flea doesn't fight us for the spot. That isn't the spot. Almost gets the wall again. Oh, this number one is zooming. Gonna be on our rear end by the end of this corner. Yeah, pretty much. These two guys. I just want to be predictable, though. Inside. I don't exit. Still there. Inside. Clear inside. Bottom to him here. Inside. Clear. We're starting to lose those spots. Hold on to it, Shane. It's always going to happen. We'll give this to the seven as well. Oh, I'm right here, buddy. Inside. Still there. Clear. Hey, right, clean exchange. And there's that loose on exit. We're catching him right uh, exit there. Was he going to fight me? Jesus, back out, man. I'm being grumpy again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Three wide up ahead, oh my. Thank you. You're welcome, bud. 25 has a much easier time, I guess. Maybe he just doesn't like me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He certainly made that easier on the 25. Knock off the high. Where are we gonna end up? Still lots of race left. Couple of guys on much fresher tires. Team going by. Twenty five is right behind us now. He's going to be making his way around as well. Feel 
sure what he was wanting there. I couldn't quite tell what he was aiming for. He's gonna get it here. Alright, keep going. <laughs> I hope this 20 doesn't try to pass me. I already got away from him once. Two's back there. What are his tires? Much better. He's going to be here in a minute. Hope we don't end up worse than where we started. I know I didn't have a great stop, but... I didn't feel like it was that bad. I know we slid past the box. no idea where this 20 is. He's blinking, he's like all the way up near the wall. I don't know if he actually hit the wall or not, but he's making me nervous. I think this is the part of the run where my... I think this is the part of the run where my setup kind of starts coming back to me a little bit. It's starting to feel like it's got more turn again, just a bit. Like, he's got to be by me by now, right? Twenty-five chooses to fight him a bit. Stays on his outside a little longer. He's not passing me, and I appreciate that, but he's, like, making me nervous in the process. <laughs> like, pretending he's gonna pass me, and then just lifting off? I don't know. It's weirding me out. It's not anywhere near anyone. Though. Lap time was 33.3. There's somebody that I assume must have had a pit road problem. Pass. Still there. Clear inside. Take the middle line. That corner. Not too bad. Maybe it'll open a door here? I don't know. I feel like the 25 is faster, but we have, like, kind of... Woken up a bit. Five seconds back to 14th, though. Um, and they don't have that much fresher tires. Four laps or so. So maybe we've net gained one after uh, entering the pits from 14th. And then we'll see if we have anything for the 25 as well. So that's 15 to go. All right. Lap times are pretty consistent. Your last lap time was at 
took that corner weird because I was watching 20 on entry. Still my own fault. I'm not going to press you. ain't no point. Yeah, I bared. I'm not going to push Hey, he says he's not going to. I had a feeling he wasn't, but I'm still, I just had to keep an eye on him, so. Guess we're good. I'm just trying to jump up and land. We run the high line now? High line came in last run. That was better. Uh, although we had a bad corner last lap, so maybe not a great example. So bad. I have got a little tight on entry there. I think I'm still running a little bit too high. I think I really want to get on that seam, actually. I think that's where, what I want to be doing. Still 4.8 behind us. I think we're pretty solidly in 13th, as so long as I don't make a mistake. Which could happen near this wall, but... I feel like we're gaining on the 25. 20 had a moment back there, but I shouldn't be looking at him anyway. And I still keep doing it. Ooh, almost slid up into the wall. It wasn't gripping. Not a good corner, unfortunately. Let you know, Tom, you're blinking a little bit. Hmm. Seems to clear up. I don't know, I just feel like we're stuck. I think the 25 is moving away again. There's a little lion, I guess. Don't get the run off. Yeah, it's worse. Back to the high line next lap, I suppose. Yeah, by the end of the straightaway, just a tiny bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go here. What a race, though. We are uh, so far. Let me not jinx it. All the way green. Very happy with where I am, even if. It's only 13th, because I'm 16, and this is a very strong field. And uh, my goal was not to embarrass myself this time. And uh, again, so far, I've managed to not do that. So that's great. Not going to catch the 25, unfortunately. It's looking like it's not quite there. It's just got a little bit more speed than I do. 
I think he would need to make a mistake for me to have a chance to catch back up to him because he's actually pulling away at this point. But coming to five to go, I think I should be able to hold three and a half seconds back to 14th. And maybe it wouldn't have been a net gain of one after a very average to below average pit stop. If not for some people that uh, had some issues, we saw some guys that were laps down, but definitely not there before. Can only assume pit mistakes when you see that. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Cruise Chief's got faith in me. He's like, yo, you can catch this car, I believe. I'm not so sure, but <laughs> we'll try. I'm giving it my all, even if I am saying Oh, we're not going to catch him, unfortunately. Like, I'm still giving it 110%. Just, uh, it's not looking like 110 is enough. Tight. Yeah, I pushed it too hard. I just kept pushing. Just hoping it would stick, but, yeah. Turns out 110% is too much to stay within the confines of the track as well. I was going to have to start, like, Absolutely Sorry, clicking dude. off laps, though, if I wanted to catch him. With only uh, three to go now. You have about five laps of fuel left. Five laps of fuel. That's fine. I saw smoke. Oh my god, wouldn't it be just a disaster if this turned into a green white checkered after such a nice race? Oh, I would hate that. Because you know he would die. <laughs> 27's getting close, but we're coming to the white flag, so we're fine. One more left to go. The gap in front is now 1.7 seconds. All right, white flag. Leader obviously took that white flag much earlier, but no chance for cautions. The tires are gonna blow, apparently. Thankfully, we're finishing it up here. One gallon of fuel. We pushed this thing to the limit. And uh, Kevin Conway back here. And you know what? I'm, I'm happy with what we got here. We got ourselves a P13. And a very strong field. That's the 16. Yeah, good race, guys. Good win, man. So that is a nice get back on track run after the disaster of last week. So I'm, I'm very happy to not embarrass myself. So good race, could win. No, good win. There we go. 13th, I love it. It'll give us roughly 17 I rating by estimates. Top half of the field, right where we started. Final tires, 32, 49. Wow, look at that. My tires were actually much worse on the right front that time. Wow, look at how weird the left sides are. 90, 64. That's really interesting. Huh. Well, you know what? I don't know why they're laughing about inside joke or something. But you know what? That was a good run. <laughs> One's like, win with our setup shop. And I'm like, win by taking a setup from a stranger from a year ago. And by win, I mean get 13th. But you know what? That's cool. Old setup. All right. So, let's get it a-going in the incidents, see what's going on out here. Probably not too much. Maybe we'll see uh, some of what happened to people under their green flag pit stops. I am going to wall for the 20. Saw him do that on time or two. And we're going to see it right here again, too.
getting real tight out of turn two. Beating up that thing. Ooh, I did not see that happen. That happened directly behind me too, didn't it? And I never even knew. Yeah, 30 was uh, cutting it pretty close a lot of the time. Here he's drifting up, scares the nine up the track, and then he just completely, I mean, they can't give any more room than that. So he comes up and gets the nine. He even gets into the 14. So that sucks. I didn't even see that happen, but yeah, both him and the nine lost a lot of time and spots from that. Happened up there. You just got bump drafting, or? Ford's trying to stick his nose below the five and just absolutely runs through him instead. And after that happened, you just get a big checkup, and it looks like the 13 gets into the seven after everyone's still kind of checking up. I have to check up hard to not get into the 13. And then suddenly I'm three wide. I saw the 12 coming down there, so I had to move up a little bit. Thankfully I did, because he would have hit my rear end, and who knows how that's going to affect me. 14 gains out of all that. And 24 gains some time as well. 20, just, uh... Well, at least he's consistent. Oh, actually it's getting worse every time, I think. Ooh, very cl Oh, wow. I didn't think they were going to touch there. I was going to say very close. It just barely, barely gets in there. It's just uh, the guys are wiggling. Those Xfinity wiggles as usual. That's maybe a little net code. Now he's blinking, so... Uh -huh. That was interesting. So 19, really squeezing him tight on entry, and that's that's just net cut unless he got loose on entry, the 5. Yeah, they didn't actually touch, they just got really close. I don't know if they were going to hit anyway or not, but everyone kind of gathers it up regardless. The 20, now he's just blinking. But I was not getting that thing turned. Oh, that's a heavy hit. Okay, okay, that's when I had to take evasive maneuvers. So was it necessary? So I'm seeing the guy going up high and then hitting the wall, and I'm thinking this guy's got to have room. <laughs> Excuse me. One more. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. I probably should mute my mic when I do that or something. Anyway. I see that, and I don't know if a 24 is going to overreact. I don't know if he's going to get loose because he has to put more wheel in it. So I'm just like, give it every bench that you need to. Cut a little bit of the grass if necessary. And we're fine. Did I need to do that? No, probably not. It would have been pretty tight. But I probably could have made it. But I don't know that. So, rather than just assume it'll be fine, give extra room, and uh, lose... Just a tiny bit of time. Not that much. All is well. Then this happened right in front of us. 17 just... Yeah, no, that was the 24. I remember now. The 24 had raced me really tight earlier, and he's just turning in a little too early. Like, you gotta turn in a little later here, especially if you're gonna be on the outside line. No real reason to be turning down like that right there. So I check up for it. Two thankfully doesn't run me over. He's still gathering it up, but I see he's got a handle on it, so I just go right around the outside, and thankfully that momentum gets me clear of the 17 as well. So, worked out for us. I've been getting wiggly. 20, are you blinking? Or are you walling? He's blinking. 
and then get him loose. Got him behind, get him even more loose. That was a sympathy slide. Huh. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that contact. What happened there? So he catches a slide, then comes up, and then taps the 22. It's really some great driving by a lot of guys, at least in the regards of holding on to the car. Like, not spinning out. Because these things are pretty, a pretty big handful, and there's been some dangerous moments, and guys have been able to hold on to their cars and keep this thing green, so... Some decent car control to prevent themselves from crashing, at least. Thirty on the outside, pretend we're hitting the wall, and then almost turning himself on the 12. Get a lot of wheel in that thing, I think. You know, I'm trying to get run off the high side, but hits the wall. That's enough of the 20. That's enough of the 20. That's enough of the 20. <laughs> there we go. 26 is gonna get loose, and then, wow, just completely lost the handle on it. It's amazing how, uh... Goodness, get off my screen. It's amazing how, uh, how difficult this thing can be just to control on the straightaways. Is this where I get the wall? I think I got the wall at one point, didn't I? Or is this just my tire reaching a really bad point? I guess that's all it was. It's about that time in the run where guys are, uh... Being rough on those tires. Yeah, not much to see there. Just me being awful to the tires as usual. Right? No wall? No wall. Okay. Not seeing anything there. Okay, I'm gonna skip through for a little bit because I think these are gonna be probably nothing more than tires and wall hits. So, let's get moving. This guy left though. Is it because of something that happened here? No? Might have to keep an eye and see what happens to him. Moving along, moving along, let's keep it moving. This time we've seen the 18 and that DuPont scheme. Halfway. Keep it going. This is the lap I chose to pit. Maybe some wall right here. Not quite. Whoa, they are both very loose. Ooh, nine's trying to pit, maybe? No, not even. He just slid, unless he slid and then chose to not pit anymore because of it. That's a rough stop. Enough of all these tires, we get it. Did the one come back and win the race? He did. I think he might have had a rougher pit stop or something, but he uh, ended up being just fine. Unless he was saying, oh no, or whatever about something else. That might not be speeding, but that was close. A lot of guys went pretty long. Oh, that's definitely speeding. That's not even close. Yikes. That guy pit right in front of me, too. Both these guys did. I remember I entered middle, so that way I could go around them. Didn't turn out so well for the one guy. 
All right, are we past the pit stops yet? Are we gonna start getting complaints or stop getting complaints about tires? Enough of the 20, enough of the 20, enough of the 20. Please no more 20, thank you. It was a pretty darn clean race. There's not much going on in, oh my God. <laughs> it looked like he was trying to block off the run there, but it, because of the sudden right turn, it really got the car unsettled. Somehow the 14 really got hurt by it. Two up by the wall, that did not grip up for him though. That's a big jump, all the way to lap 82. This is the guy that was trying to catch us. Here's my wall hit. I knew I had one. No? No, I guess not. I, maybe my wall hit won't show up. Maybe it was light enough that it didn't count. I don't remember exactly where it was in the race, but I did tap the wall at one point. Like that, except in the corner. Team kind of drifting up. Is this your wall hit? It is! I knew it! That's right, it was late in the race because I was trying to push hard to see if I could get it to stick more than I expected, but nah. <laughs> it was not willing to give any more than I was already trying to get. Two on the outside. Five looking pretty loose on exit. Thirteen still getting wiggly. Wow, he's having a lot of trouble on the straightaways. He looks frustrated. Couldn't be too much longer here because it's only two laps to go at this point. He's in the 28 a lot now and the 14. One way up by the wall. And then what I do here? Nothing. Ooh, at the line! Wow! <laughs> they both were giving it up. They're all there. Wow, how about that? I kind of want to see this. It looked like a battle for the ages. So they come to the white flag. I assume this guy's got fresher tires or something, and he's on the move. He takes the high line, trying to get a run. He almost gets the wall, but he does eventually get it turned, it looks like. Five's gonna take it down low, no block. Now the five's trapped down there, though. Oh, they both send it in hard and get sideways. Five's got no grip at all. Wow. Very sideways. And they're still getting sideways, even on the straightaway and photo finish for sixth. That was pretty that was pretty crazy. And then they're just messing around now. Uh, one of them is messing around down at the bottom. I don't know where he went. I was gonna try to find him, but that's gonna do it. It looks like. A lot of uh long incidents, but really nothing too crazy to see. We will see the uh, 10 finally bend it at the end here. He just exits out real quick though, I think. He doesn't care about safety rating, he'll take the 2x. We will take a 1x for our evasive maneuvers and that's it. And uh, a P12, P13 rather, P13 as the 16 in a very tough field. So, very happy with that. I'll, I'll call that a, uh, a nice redemption for a very embarrassing last attempt at Indianapolis. So. I'll take it. Not flashy, but solid. And uh, sometimes that's all you need to make it feel a little bit less like a garbage driver. <laughs> so that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Been a long one. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.